if we had self-determination about our own gender. I grew up in France. I remember, I was seven years old, sitting with my grandmother at supper. My grandma takes the last piece of a baguette. You know the pointy end? She eats it, although she's already full. She says, as long as the Germans don't get it. <laughs> Ten years later, I moved to Berlin. My grandma, as long as you don't bring us back a German man. I guess some of you now think I'm gay. That would be okay. But actually, it's much simpler than that. I used to live as a woman. And now I'm a transgender guy. In short, I was assigned female at birth. You know what people do. It's a boy, it's a girl. But with transgender people, that estimate is not correct. If I wrote the story of my life, I would call it how I went from being a white woman to a young migrant boy. That's actually the title of my book. In Berlin, I realized I was transgender and I started taking testosterone. Shortly after, I was walking around the streets. I wanted to eat a crepe with strawberries. Delicious. So I stopped by this sweet little tea room. Wonderful place. It smells of cinnamon and hot pancakes. I walk in and I notice that the window is cracked. Someone has thrown a stone at it. It looks fantastic, um, like a crystal clear puzzle hanging in the air with the sun glittering around it. The tea owner is looking at me, looking at the broken window. She comes up to me and says, <laughs> did you forget to switch on your mobile phone? Is it your handiwork you're admiring? If I had been born the way I look today, I might think mistrust is normal. C'est la vie. But this is exactly my point. I was used to being treated in a different way. So now I can compare. I remember. The expectations on me as a girl. Always smile beautifully, but don't laugh too loudly. Have a perfect body. Be successful, but not more successful than Prince Charming. And of course, there is not the woman. Dear women, I guess you have your own expectations that comes to mind. Ever since I've been read as a man, I felt for myself how much the patriarchy puts men under pressure as well. Men must be warriors, tender but not allowed to cry, mocked when they pee sitting down. And don't be less successful than your wife. Yes, of course, he must be straight. Today, when I see an advertising with a half-naked woman for yogurt, I wonder, <laughs> could it be that this ad is a double-edged sword for guys too? The message is, you must desire 
Sex drive is male. You are not a real man if you're not constantly aroused and don't even think about being turned on by another guy. Dear people who ask me, are you trans or gay? It doesn't make much sense. It's like asking, do you prefer traveling by train or to Barcelona? It's really easy. One thing is my gender identity, me, my body, as transportation by car, train, or plane. And another thing is my sexual orientation, the direction of my sexual attraction, whether I'm gay, straight, bisexual, you know, Barcelona, Paris. <laughs> to make it short, the gender with which I want to move through the world has nothing to do with whom I feel attracted to. So, if women are like this and men are like that, what is the nature of people who are diverse? What are the attributes of people who choose the third gender option. You know the third option that has been introduced into German law. The good news, there is not only two genders. Gender is a spectrum with the majority of humans appearing to exist at one end or the other. Dear people who remain in the gender that was assigned to you at birth, do you think we are transgender people and you are only people? Good news, you too have a name. If you stay in the gender that was assigned to you at birth, you are cisgender or just cis. Dear cis people, <laughs> your genitals, really, really, really don't interest me. <laughs> Rather, tell me about your other sex and genders, your social, hormonal, chromosomal, psychological sexes and genders. It is not the size that counts but the number. So, if you feel good with the gender assigned to you at birth, that's great, good for you. But for most people, there is no choice, even worse. The sex characteristics of intersex people are often operated on at birth by doctors. Sex characteristics. You know, these things like a uterus, testes, muscle, hair growth. So, why are intersex babies subjected to genital surgeries, you may ask? Well, that's a good question. Intersex people have bodies that don't fit the typical definition of male or female. But that is not a medical problem. It's just a natural variation of human life. Intersex people are subjected to completely unnecessary genital surgeries. It is human rights abuse. Stopping these practices it's not about abolishing gender. It's about bodily integrity. What if? What if we really had 
self-determination about our own gender? What if we accepted that gender is a spectrum? What if we allowed people to live in the gender they want, to live in the gender they have? What if Germany and every European country followed the resolution of the European Parliament to stop forced genital surgeries on intersex people? What if every country accepted the decision of the World Health Organization to remove being transgender from the list of mental disorders? What if the third option law was amended? The law requires a medical certificate in order to prove that you are intersex. Your gender is not a medical condition. What if the third option was open to everybody on the basis of self-definition? What if we had new, modern family and reproductive rights? The woman, the wife of a woman who, are, who has given birth, must be automatically recognized as a cool mother without having to go through a long and difficult path of having to adopt her own child. What if... A transgender woman could use her own sperm to become a mom, or by transplanting a uterus. Yes, this is already possible with reproductive medicine. What if transgender men who are pregnant would be legally recognized as fathers? The whole vision is not just theoretical. Before she died, I would have loved to be able to tell my grandma, Mami, I became the German man myself. <laughs> See? Embrace the unexpected. <laughs> Dear people, let me believe that you understand that we all would benefit from it. Let us prove all together that one plus one equals all of us. And with all of us together, that should be possible to turn this world into a place that is not tolerant of diversity, but a world that celebrates it.